हेलो गाइस सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज एम एच सी क्लास वन वर्सेज एम एच सी क्लास टू इट इज अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम इम्यूनोलॉजी एंड क्वेश्चन आर आस फ्रॉम हेयर इन नीट पी जी आई एंड नेक्स्ट एग्जामिनेशन सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एम एच सी क्लास वन एंड एम एच सी क्लास टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द एम एच सी क्लास वन हैज टू चेन्स एम एच सी क्लास वन हैज टू चेन्स द फर्स्ट चेन इज आई हैव मार्क्ड विद रेड द फर्स्ट चेन आई हैव मेड विद रेड एंड द सेकेंड चेन आई एम मेकिंग विद ब्लू कलर द फर्स्ट चेन हैज थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 and the second chain which is a shorter chain has only one component beta 2 whereas mhc class 1 mhc class 2 is made up of two chains again but they are of equal size as we can see over here so it has also two components alpha 1 alpha 2 and beta 1 beta 2 the mhc class 1 is made up of loci hla a hla b and hla c whereas mhc class 2 is made up of hla dp dq and dr now coming to the expressions the mhc class 1 is expressed in all nucleated cells the mhc class 1 is expressed expressed in all nucleated cells plus platelets because they don't have nucleus but not rbcs they are never present in rbcs where is mhc class 2 expressed mhc class 2 is expressed in only in antigen presenting cells okay so there is a way i can make you understand things mhc class 1 is just like aadhar card which is given by government of india aadhar card tells that you are a citizen of india okay and if someone doesn't has aadhar card this means that they are not a citizen of india and they may have they are actually foreign people and they have trespassed and so what is the fate of them to kill them those who they have invalidly come over here now mhc class 2 is presented in antigen presenting cells mhc class 2 is presented in antigen presenting cells so who are antigen presenting cells so antigen presenting cells are just like police officers who stay at the airport and check that someone is not trespassing over our country so what does the police officer does if they see that illegally some person is coming inside they first of all will catch the, the catch the particular person and present it to the judge and the judge will decide their fate that is to kill them okay or arrest them same apc is just like a policeman and they see that no foreign antigens should enter our body okay and if foreign antigens are found to enter our body they will be presented to the t cell just like judge and then they will be killed okay so antigen presenting cells present mhc class 2 but you also know that antigen presenting cell just like are the policemen so policemen are also the are citizen of india so since they are a citizen of india they will also express mhc class 1 so mhc class 1 is expressed in all nucleated cells platelets and apcs but not in rbcs what is the main function of both of them the main function of mhc class 2 is to present exogenous antigen okay means foreign people just like a policeman finds police foreign people and the main function of endogenous and uh, of mhc class 2 is to present endogenous antigens endogenous antigens means cytosolic proteins but also viral proteins because viral proteins are those proteins although they are from the virus from an external agent but they live inside the cell that's why they are presented from mhc class 1 so this is the basic difference so you can see over here the basic differences between I mean, see, class one and class two. Whatever I had made you understand over here is not important. Don't take a screenshot of it. The main thing is over here. I have taken it from the first aid book. Okay. So the difference between MHC one and MHC two, you have clearly understood that MHC one has one loci. MHC one has one loci of one letter. Actually, A, B, and C. Whereas MHC two two has two letters. The loci of MHC two has two letters. D, P, D, Q, and D, R. Okay. So where do they bind? MHC class one binds to CD eight and T cell receptor, and MHC class two binds to T cell receptor and CD four. How can you remember eight into one MHC class one is equal to eight, and CD four ka four multiplied by two of MHC class two is equal to eight again. So you can remember it by this method. It has one long chain and one short chain. You have seen it over here, and two equal length chains, two alpha and two beta. You have you have seen it over here. Okay. Now expression already told that MHC class one is just like Aadhar card which is given to every citizen of India. All nucleated cell APCs, APCs also policemen are also a part of India only. Platelets except RBC very important except RBC. And where MHC class two is given only to APCs antigen presenting cells. Okay, 
So the function of MHC class one already told endogenous antigens because they are Aadhaar card and they present and they say that this if a person has Aadhaar card means that that citizen is actually their own citizen and it is not a foreign person. So it presents endogenous antigens means cytosolic protein, but I've also told viral antigens also. And MHC class two always exogenous antigen. Okay, bacterial protein CD8 four positive helper T cells. Now antigen loading, antigen loading very important. The antigen loading of MHC class one is done inside the endoplasmic rough endoplasmic reticulum, whereas MHC class two requires endosomes. This particular question has been asked in I nine set once. Also, a tap rim protein transport associated protein is required for the antigen loading in MHC class one. Associated protein is beta two microglobulin. This protein is nothing but this particular short chain of the MHC class one, and invariant chain is present as associated protein in MHC class two. So that's it, guys. Thank you.